Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I want to share with you a clip from a recent YouTube members live event. And in this video, we're going to talk about the possibility that SPS will never see 25 cent value again. And is it possible that we reach $2 or $5 or is market cap a simple explanation as to why that's never going to happen? This is kind of a salt video and I'm in response to one of my commenters on my YouTube channel. I'm going to give him a raffle ticket, which will give him an opportunity to win a plot of land from me this year. So if you like the opportunity to maybe get a free plot of land out of me, drop some great comments that elicit amazing videos. And then I will, if I record a video on that topic, I'm going to give you a, that opportunity to win that free plot of land. Special thanks to iHorus for the comment. Even though I don't necessarily agree with everything you said, I love that you leave comments which engage the community. And guys, let's get into SPS. Will it ever reach 25 cents? What about five bucks? And what, and how would his market cap figure into that? I'm gonna play a few matches. If you guys have any questions, I'm happy to talk about it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna play some battles and I'm gonna talk about an answer to a question that was recently dropped on my on my channel. So. I did that video that you guys probably saw, SPS targets for the next bull run. And in that video, there's 800 views on that one. 95% likes, 57 likes. And I did see a comments from iHorus. iHorus is somebody who has supported the channel with a lot of you know comments. And he has you know a little bit of salt in here and he also has like some support. He says, love you Dwayne at the end, right? So like, I appreciate that. But he's critical of this video. And I want to talk about this while I do some rank battles because I want to do some rank battles. Um, and I will make this a separate video for, for the channel because I think this is worth the showing. So I talked about SPS. I talk about, you know, 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars. And I feel as though those are realistic, as, as ridiculous as that sounds at two cents per D SPS today. And I know that there are reasons people doubt that. For one, people doubt that because it's a bear market right now. For two, they doubt that because market cap implies that cards can't reach higher and higher, or sorry, values can't reach those levels. I get that. And he says some of those things in here. I'm gonna read it in a moment after I submit the team here. And I just wanna respond because I actually feel strongly that, that it merits, I guess, a, a good amount of analysis i think i think we i think we believe we take for granted that th that those sort of targets aren't possible and and i think we're making a, a serious mistake when we start to get when we start to make when we start to make statements such as market cap means it's not possible i'll show you in a second is this going to work just like a total, is this possible? Let's give it a shot. Boom. So while that's playing, I'll try to elaborate. I'll read his comment if I can. So he goes, SPS will never hit $5 and I'm sorry to say, we will be lucky if it hits 25 cents. They've handed out SPS like water and they plan on handing out more and more. What makes you think that the token that is given out so easily will hit $5? Let's be real here, no jokes. All of the people think 60, 69,000 was the all-time high for BTC and we'll never break that. So so I think he means a lot of people think 69K was the, the top for Bitcoin and it'll never break that. So when you say things like five SPS, it may be harming someone who doesn't understand crypto. Dwayne, be careful what you tell the young ones. I'm hardcore crypto and I see numbers. Numbers don't lie. Do you think SPS will hit $5? Man, the market cap says probably not. When investing, when investing, you need realistic numbers. Love you, Dwayne, but be careful what you tell the newbies. There's two points I want to make, and I, I want to you know, make this its own video. Uh, but before I say any of that, just thank you, iHorus, for dropping that comment and for you know watching the content and engaging with it to facilitate this sort of... Um, analysis and deep dive because i think it, it 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 adds to the community when people push on each other in conflicting ways and that's why i think salt mine videos are worth it because when we have different views and we come at it from different angles we can be surprised by the results that engagement can can elicit like a closer or a fuller understanding of what is real and so i think he makes two main points there in that conversation and the first being $5 SPS is not possible 
I guess he makes three main points. $5, $5 SPS is not possible because of market cap. Two, you got to be really careful what you say on a video like this because people like new people who are noobs and don't properly understand crypto can be put into hazard be, by, you know, by, I guess, what they might perceive as promises or, you know, sure things. And three, that SPS will be lucky if SPS hits 25 cents. I think I want to tackle the, the last the last one first. SPS five cent, or 25 cents. I mean, I mean, I just can't, I just do not agree. I just like, I, I I don't even feel like there's a lot of conversation here to be had. Like the idea that SBS will never hit 25 cents again, or that we'll be lucky if we hit 25 cents. I just don't think there's a lot of merit to that suggestion. I don't even really know how to properly engage with it because I'd say that prices, and we're going to need to elaborate on this, on this illustration as we move into the greater, the greater conversation of this video where like can we reach five dollars we need to understand that things like market cap don't really mean much we also need to understand that price appreciation is not a fundamental consideration always it's largely illogical not logical and so when we talk about sps maybe making it to 50 cents a dollar two dollars five dollars we're not talking about hey the logistics and you know the the adoption and the fundamental considerations and the widespread play and growth of player base like those are fundamental considerations that you might raise to articulate strong strongly here's why the token should appreciate fundamental considerations are entirely apart from set apart from price appreciation unfortunately and that's a product of cryptocurrency being as small as it is when we talk about um the total market cap being five million dollars and we talk about there's only six thousand dollars worth of asks right now on sps and there's three thousand dollars worth of bids like these are not these are nine thousand dollars worth of liquidity it's such a small marketplace that it's not logical to say that fundamental considerations would drive the price appreciation on a token like this it would take such a small amount of input influxing money to just break the data on this and once you get this thing going from two cents to ten cents or two cents to even yeah probably two cents to like the ten cent range i think what you end up seeing is people going crazy and saying like oh wow here we go and you end up getting total disconnect from logic and reality and fundamentals and movement into FOMO, which drives prices that can be totally irrational and for a short period of time. So is 25 cents the probable kind of top in the future? Or would we be lucky if we get there? I just can't agree with that. And and you have to take with a grain of salt like everything I say. And I want to move into that now because that this is the one of his main criticisms. Like watch out what you tell because people are going to hear you and they're going to they're going to go ahead and they're going to you know, ape in on a purchase of SPS because you've said it's going to make it to 25 cents or to $2 or to $5. And I have to say, technologically, I just disagree. I think I can give reasons why technologically that assertion is not founded in reality. So the comment again was, um, when investing, you need realistic numbers. Be careful what you tell newbies. And he goes, be careful what you tell the young ones. Uh, saying things like $5 SPS, you may be harming someone who doesn't understand crypto. I want, that's what I want to test now. That's the, kind of the second criticism or second point I want to make here. I don't believe that I could be harming, first of all, everything anyone says online. Like, guys, you know, you know this, but like the people who are watching, you guys know me well enough to recognize that like I'm here sharing my journey. Maybe somebody brand new to the channel, there, you could make an argument, somebody brand new to the channel, they think, oh, he's got thousands of followers. He's an expert in these things. I'm going to just trust it blindly. That's foolishness. First of all, I want everyone to hear that. That would be foolishness. You never, I would never trust anybody blindly. I would hear you no matter what you're talking about. I'm likely to willing to hear you. And then I'm going to test what you say. I'm going to put it in the fire and see if it survives. The fire of my own criticism, the fire of the criticism of those around other, you know, quote unquote, would be experts. Like, what do they say? And how does that stack up against what Dwayne says? So that you should always be doing that. That's the do your own research mentality. Now, some people don't 
don't do that, even though that's obvious and reasonable. So on the one hand, I want to agree with iHorse. It is potentially dangerous to kind of come out and give, you know, moon Lambo predictions on a cryptocurrency because you might find somebody who doesn't know any of that. They don't even understand, do your own research. But I'm never gonna be the guy who's constantly out here saying, do your own research, because I'm not the guy who's telling you, do what I do. I'm the guy who's saying, here's what I've done, and I believe it's going to translate into X. Do you agree? And you'll, you guys will admit that everybody will admit, even iHorse will admit, I constantly say things like, this is what I've seen, and here's why I think it's going to speak to the future and the price appreciation of cards in Splinterlands. I, I really, I feel these cards are deflationary in nature. They're going to appreciate over a long enough time horizon, and I believe that's true because this game is fun and has a future. And that theory is me. It's me expressing a hypothesis and a theory, and I'm, I'm saying, do you guys agree with that? If you think it is fun and you think it has a future, then how, how do you say? How can you argue that the cards won't appreciate? Help me understand, because if I'm wrong about that, I want to know. And so with that sort of attitude, I can't really ag agree that that I would be projecting a certain attitude or a certain disposition that would imply or kind of trick new people. But more than that, I want to say that new people can't just go ahead and buy these things. The, this is something I want to explain because it's actually a problem from Splinterlands and I want it fixed. Um, because if we want to see maximum adoption in the future, we need to fix an, a major error in Splinterlands and the tokenomics of this game that is currently holding growth back. So I, I Horace says, be careful what you tell them because these noobs are just going to rush out and buy the stuff based on the strength of your statement. And I say, no, they won't because they can't. And that's a problem. What do I mean? The other day I tried to buy SPS, it was at 2.5 cents and I'm like, I want some more SPS. So I come in here and I hit this little plus sign and it, Transact pops up. And Transact, I go in here and I, I say, I want 150 bucks worth of SPS. And I'm, you know, it gives me, um, well, this is DEC, my bad, but it's the same deal. So I come in here, I wanna buy SPS and I go 150 bucks and it goes, okay, we'll send you 5,000 SPS. I'm like, yeah, please do it. Let's do it. This is, sounds easy. It's a reasonable price. There is some fees in here, uh, processing fees. I'm willing to eat that for convenience sake. So I go ahead and click buy. And you won't be able to see it, I don't think. But if, it, or will you? Let's see. Yeah, you can see that. Look, it's like, look, you can pay with Visa card payment. You can do Google Pay, whatever. And you just want to click the buy now if you're, if, you're, if you're on board with it. And I was. And then what happens? It asked me for KYC, for know your customer. It's like, okay, well, what's your name? What's your address, et cetera, et cetera. Show me your driver's license or your passport or whatever. This is all, these are steps that are technologically demanding, first of all. Second of all, um, they actually, even when I jump through those hoops, because you, you need to know how to properly do all that. And you need to feel confident in doing that. Like a brand new player wouldn't even, I'm not convinced they would even trust those things. They'd be like, oh, this is weird. Like, why is it asking for that stuff? I'm just trying to buy a little bit of, so I think you, he's wrong because it's actually difficult in the context of how would you do that for a new person? And then second of all, it's impossible for a veteran person, let alone a new person. Because what happened was I went through all the KYC and yet the credit card company said no. And so if you're in Western, the Western world, in Ca I'm in Canada, I think I've heard people say the same thing about America. If you're in Canada or America or the Western world, crypto is like looked at with a lot of skepticism. And so all of the major credit card companies are gonna say no to that transaction. And as a result, I actually wanna articulate that it's not even possible to follow, if you if these were instructions, if I was saying to you, this is gonna reach really crazy prices and you better buy now, which I'm not. I'm saying, I believe it's gonna reach high prices and I'm investing in it because I believe in the fun and the future of this game. And I'm excited about the future of that price appreciation. So I'm telling you a story I'm walking and if you wanted to follow along, like he's saying, I don't think you could because I couldn't. And so then what would you have to do? Well, if you really were, if you listened to the words I was saying, and you were like, I got to buy SPS. What you would have to do is finish your KYC with something like Coinbase, which is no easy feat. It takes a few days to do. And then once it's done, 
you'd have to set up some sort of direct deposit. You'd have to pay some sort of fee with your bank. You'd have to get some sort of money order sent. You'd have to, these are, these are lots of steps. They're onerous. And this is a problem. You have to get that money into Coinbase. You'd have to buy some token that's then tradable on Coinbase and then transferable to say Binance. And once at Binance, you could be shifted into say uh, Hive. And then once on Hive into Hive, it could be transferred into Hive Engine. And once on Hive Engine, it could be transferred for SPS. And that is so tricky and way too onerous. So my point is in a pushback against what iHorse is saying, I'm not concerned that me talking about SPS and its possible price appreciation is going to attract newbies or confuse vulnerable um, viewers. Because one, I don't think I'm telling a story of, hey, you should follow me and do these things. And two, I don't believe you could follow me unless you weren't a newbie. You could, newbies don't know how to do this stuff. And so you need to have a certain degree of self-reliance and a depth of knowledge that is beyond the basic, you know, splinterlands or blockchain noob. And lastly, I just want to speak to the $5 topic. Could we reach $5? Do I really believe that? And what about market cap? I, I do think we could do that. I know that sounds insane because it sounds insane because we're at two and a half cents. And if it was to go to $5, our li every one of our lives would be radically change, wouldn't it? Like if you have a thousand SPS that costs you nothing practically, maybe you earn for free through play and it turned into $5 a token, five grand US would be crazy to get out of a video game. And in that way, that would be so mind blowing for that to happen. It feels as though that can't happen because it would be so such a large appreciation. But I don't think we need to think about $5 or $2 or $1 in the sense of logic and fundamentals. Like we talked about earlier with the 25 cents, we're going to carry that logic forward. So part of what I'm telling you is I don't believe these sorts of numbers are logically justifiable, but I don't think logic is relevant, which is not okay, but it is part, it's a, it's a, it's a factor of this being such a small market. We talked about $10,000 worth of daily activity on the SPS, right? That's so small. We talked about 5 million market cap, $5 million market um, total. What was it again? $5 million worth of total market cap. And the the articulation from iHorus and from others on Twitter and everywhere else I've commented about this stuff is, and I've, I've talked to Lama, Crypto Llama about this too. He's a chart analyst and a friend of my channel. So love that guy. Um, but we butt heads on this issue because he, he is one of these people that'll say, Market cap means this thing can't make it to five bucks. Because what would that mean? If the market cap was, or sorry, if the token was $5, first of all, what is market cap? Just very, very quickly. Market cap is the price of one token times the price of, or the total circulating supply. And so if we have 100 million circulating supply and we talk about five, $5 token, 100,000 thousand million that's a hundred million times five is one is that 500 it's half a billion dollars right isn't it one hundred thousand yeah it's 500 500 million so half a bill and that would put us in a place where our token is like right now half a bill market cap would be over bitcoin and so people say what are you talking about Dwayne? that's that's ridiculous SPS is not going to be bigger than a Bitcoin. I'm willing to agree with you, but that doesn't mean you prove me wrong because two things, market cap doesn't really mean what you think it means. It means it's not actually how many dollars uh, one token is times every token that exists. It's actually how many dollars the token is worth. So five bucks is what I'm speculating times one token. Like all it requires is one token sells for five bucks, not a hundred million sell for five bucks. That's not how market caps are calculated. It's what the last token sold for. So when we sold Bitcoin for the first time at $20,000, it wasn't 17 million Bitcoin that sold for that price. Or today as Bitcoin is at 23,000, we're not selling 17 or 18 millions of worth of the circulating supply are changing hands at that price. No, it's maybe a few Bitcoin. It's like, I don't know. Is it, is it a hundred Bitcoin? It's not 
millions. It might be a, a thousand or something. I don't really know, but it's it's not millions. And so it's only a, the smallest fraction of the circulating supply that gets sold at that price point. And that's so important because it means that when you talk about a $5 SPS, you're not actually saying $500 million is wrapped up in, in those tokens supply. You're actually saying $5 is wrapped up in one token. And maybe let's say, you know, I don't know, it, is it a million tokens that could potentially be sold in that sort of craziness, in that sort of massive FOMO. So I, you, that's really, really important to understand because it means that you don't need to actually see half a billion dollars bought and sold in the SPS for a half a billion market cap. That's really important. But then secondly, and this is maybe more important for many people, how could we ever have more market cap than Bitcoin? Because that's what I'm saying. I'm talking about a 500 million right? I'm talking about 500 million or half a billion. Um, okay. This is, see, this is for, this is 440. My see, I'm, I'm realizing now there's a B here. So this is actually 448 billion. Is it really? I guess it is too, because it, it's, we're just over, we're over a trill. So the point is though, even if we got like higher and higher and higher, would we be competing with Tron, I think, I think the point is we would be competing with some of these, but also you have to recognize that if SPS is reaching some sort of crazy height, it doesn't need to pass all of these top 10, top 20 coins because it, you get that phenomena of the, of the rising waters, rise all boats, raise all boats. And so, you know, Litecoin goes up. XRP goes up, Bitcoin goes up, you know, all these tokens are rising. And so even if SPS is going into what you might consider crazy, crazy market cap totals, it's in an environment where other coins are rising too. And I think in that way, you have to recognize that if we were seeing such a ludicrous price appreciation on a token like SPS, it would be in a moment where other coins were doing similar moonshots. And so in that avenue, you no longer have to say, well, SPS isn't going to beat Bitcoin or SPS isn't going to beat Ethereum or SPS isn't going to beat Litecoin. And you can say, well, you know, forget about that. Recognize that they're all going to be going up at the same time. And in that moment, you could, again, logic gets suspended. And I think price appreciation could be, can in those ways could be possible. And, and just lastly, I like what he's saying. I like what he's saying because he's encouraging kind of thoughtfulness and intentionality around how we present information because some people are going to receive it in one way or another. And I guess I just really want to reiterate, I said this in a recent tweet and I really want to reiterate it here on, on a video for the YouTube channel. I said about this topic, I said, recently I posted my price pre speculation on SPS on YouTube. Lots of comments saying no way. Please remember, I don't post to advise you. I post to share my journey. I'm preparing for $2 SPS, whether you believe it's possible or not. And in that video that I'm citing, I talk about like maybe even five bucks, but like I'm going to sell most of my SPS if we get into like the $2 range. And then if it made it to $5, I would, which I will admit is highly unlikely in the near future. But I don't think logic is deeply applicable to this conversation. So I'm preparing for the illogical. And I think at the foundation of the conversation, I think this game is fun and it has a future. I think this token is meaningfully uh, applicable to the fun and future of that game. And therefore, I think it has value and I'm excited to see where that's going to go. And I think two cents is a ridiculous price. And I think two dollars is definitely possible. And I think honestly, I think five dollars one day we'll see it. Now, is that years and years away? Probably. But I'm preparing. I'm preparing it as if it's real and I don't, and I, and I roundly reject the idea that market cap means it can't happen. And I also roundly reject the implication that logic and fundamental considerations are the primary driver of price. They aren't FOMO is, and things can get way out of hand before they come back to earth. And, and so for all those reasons, I think we're going to be surprised. And one day when the token is getting to those heights, just wait, what will happen is most people will say, instead of most people saying no way, 
most people will be saying, no way, it'll never come down. Like the sentiment shifts and then everybody thinks we're never going to stop coming back. We're never going to come back to earth. And you'll see me being kind of a voice of, um, I think, prudence maybe in that moment. I'll be like, yeah, I, th I think it, it, it's a great token. I like the game, but it's, you know, it's going to come back to earth. And that's, that's my view on it. And um, I thought that merited its own kind of conversation. So uh, thank you guys for listening to that. I'm going to read some chat now because I, I saw a bunch popping through. Hmm. But they forgot the fact that SPS max cap will burn, get burned slowly, but surely in the, in that too, Elistios, SPS is going to be burned. And if the flywheel works as the flywheel is intended, I think we're going to see a lot of SPS burning. I think that's a, that's a very valid point and I'm, I didn't mention it yet. Eli says that market cap versus max available liquidity argument is pretty flimsy though, Eli. Um, market cap versus max available liquidity. Oh, hang on a second. I, I'm going to read that comment. Elistios, it can definitely reach $1, but that will be a short spike in my opinion based on FOMO. Yeah, that see, that's the thing. FOMO could do it. And a good bull run, we can see two to three maybe. But if we go to the with market cap versus max coin possible people, um, I think it's impossible. Um... Yeah, Eli, again, I'm bringing the current on the street rhetoric, but personally see an easy one to five next bull run, but more than more of a $1 stable price in the next five years. Yeah, Elistios, that, that's a fair representation of my view too. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever, if, if what I think is going to happen, it would be something like, you know, the, to the token fools around in the, you know, the 10 to 50 cent range and we get into a bull run and we spike into the $2 range. And that, that'll that start kind of slow and then it'll all happen rapidly. And then and then I would expect we to, us to fall rapidly into you know the 50 cent range and then climb back to a dollar where we kind of linger and maybe we're at 70 cents and then we're at buck 20 and we're, we're in there for three, four years. And then you know into the following bull run, if the game is still thriving and, they, and it's still fun to play, and SPS is now being burned instead of printed because we're now five, six years down the road, I could see being $5 or more for this token. But again, that's going to depend on massive adoption. It's going to depend on continued development of all the things that we've already started and heard promises of. And it's going to continue. It's going to be continued to be based on that fun and future conversation that we always have here. They said, I definitely think we have too much SPS flowing in too soon. Land and tower defense really should have waited longer. Yeah, this is a fair point too. There, the other side of the coin, like the more conservative side of the coin that is worth looking at is the fact that there is a lot of SPS right now and that will subdue these sorts of opportunities. But but Deus, you're talking about a fundamental consideration and in the moment of a bull market, you can set all that stuff aside. And I, and then that doesn't mean that I, I, I'm not saying therefore five bucks is easy. I'm not even saying therefore two bucks is easy. I'm just saying that what you're saying is totally true. And yet high, high price targets are possible regardless of how many tokens there are. I mean, XRP reached four bucks last, but not last bull market, but the bull market before. And so, and there's way more, I forget. I think it's like a trillion XRP or something. The current market circulation that people use are simple taking 300 mil market cap if game gets good and divide that by the maximum coin. Yeah, which is a 60 cents, 10 cent prediction. See, I don't, I, I understand why they do that. And I know you're just kind of reporting to me what they do, Elistios. I find that sort of calculation is so rudimentary because it's so founded in logic and fundamental considerations. Well, there's only some... There's only so much buying pressure and there's only so many players and, and there's X amount of tokens and that's a lot of circulating supply. And I mean, throw that all out the window if certain partnerships happen and if certain markets adopt SPS and if and if the, if the, car, if the price starts going from two cents to 10 cents or 20 cents in a short period of time and then millions of dollars rush into this small market cap because they're chasing gains. All of that is illogical and, and maybe you can't plan on it, but I'm saying 
and I, the game is so fun and the token is so valuable within the fun game that has a future that I just want to, I'm willing to plan around the probability, which I feel is reasonably high. Is it like a, is it a 50, 50 shot that it goes into like a $2 range? I don't think that's probably fair. It's probably more like a lower, like maybe it's a 25% chance or something in my mind. Like it can be less than a 50% chance and yet still worth the risk. Do you see my point? Like we're talking about a small market cap coin, 5 million, 3 million, whatever we just saw there. But sometimes those are, those are definitely and almost always the biggest home runs that are possible, right? If you buy Bitcoin now at 23,000 and it doubles or even 10 X's, that would be awesome. You, you would love that. But if you buy a coin like SPS, it's actually possible that it 100 X's or that it 200 X's, these things happen because it's such a small market cap. It can be, it think it can get away from itself. And again, if you have a thousand tokens or 10,000 tokens or something like that, it's interesting that again, you don't need to sell a hundred million SPS to exit a position. My position for instance is 70,000 SPS. It is, it is certainly possible in a moment of a bull run for a guy like me or you to have, who has five, 10, 15, 20, 50,000 SPS to liquidate those assets at a buying in like targets that are really short lived. That's the interesting thing. It doesn't need to be at $2 for five years straight. It only needs to be at $2 for an afternoon when you recognize that and you say, wow, okay, let's sell some of this. You guys got lots more to say here, but yeah. Elistio says legally on YouTube, I think you always have to bring in the not financial advice as many times as you can. But you know what, man, like between the uh, the one, this is me telling my story and, and two, I don't think you could copy me if you wanted to. Like as a new player, just listening to this, and I think that's so key. Yeah, and Bobby says, I don't even trust myself. That's the thing, man. You know, like bring your bring your two cents to the table and and weigh on the scale of like weigh the scale on a scale the truth of what I'm saying or the likelihood or the or the probability and uh, and then you know sprinkle on top of that the salt that is the metaphoric salt that is like you know this is me sharing what I'm believing and what I, how I'm preparing it's not me saying guys buy in at such and such value and hold till such and such and then we'll all sell no. I'm just saying I've acquired mo lots. I plan to acquire way more. I'm, I'm home making for a million SPS and I plan to sell at like $1, $2 and $5. That's, those are my thoughts, at least preliminarily. And it may well be the case that these end up being unlikely or improbable or unrealized targets. But I just like the odds. Considering the risk versus reward, I like the odds and I'm on board with it. So I actually want to give one more shout out to iHorus for the comment and for the feedback. Um, I take it seriously and I love this sort of back and forth. I like it when we don't always agree and me and iHorus don't always see eye to eye, but we, he sticks around and he comments. So thank you. And I'm going to give him a, a raffle ticket for a free plot of land this year. So we're at like 80 something um, raffle tickets that we've handed out this year. And I'm tracking them on an Excel spreadsheet. All you guys are getting them as members. You're going to potentially win a plot of land. And so, so my point is, guys, just keep dropping comments and uh, keep sharing what you've got to say. Um, I love it. And even when I, even when it's like rubbing against what I have to say, that's all the better. Because sometimes I learn stuff too. I'm actually going to leave it there, guys. Two o'clock, I go to meet the kids. My throat's starting to hurt too. But thank you for hanging out. And I hope you guys have an awesome afternoon and uh, an amazing weekend. God bless, guys. Bye for now.